What up, YouTube? It's Ronell Higgins. You're watching Ronell Higgins Boxing Reports. All right, check it. So, I read an article on my um, tweet, Twitter, okay? And they talking about Adrian Broner has just spoken to who else? Bob Arum about a possible matchup fight with Manny Pacquiao, okay, in the near future. Now, they disclosed how the fight didn't go down last year because he felt that the money that Bob Arum was offering him wasn't enough. However, he's now restating that him and Bob Arum, they spoke, and he's still asking Bob to pay him the money that he thinks he's worth. Now, in my opinion, I think he's worth the money Bob Arum offered him last time. In fact, he ain't even worth that. I think that was a generous offer that Bob Arum did when he offered uh, Adrian Broner that $4.5 million. That's a generous offer because really, I don't even think... I don't think that Broner is worth $4.5 million against a fighter like Pacquiao. However, they spoke and he's talking, if you know, if it could be a little more, if I can get what I asked for, I would like to fight Manny Pacquiao. Even if he don't get it, he was doing this for his family. He said, we heard his, uh, you know, statement he made last night, how he changed and how he's now fighting for his family now. So he, he's not being uh, this cocky guy and whatnot. Y'all heard what he said. Now, he said he's trying to make the most money as he could possible. <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking to myself, Adrian, you could not even get past Adrian Ganados, okay? I think Adrian Ganados should fight Pacquiao next. If anything, I mean, Adrian Ganados, my goodness. I mean, he put on the show last night. Well, we all seen it. And yes, everyone believes the man got robbed. That's why Adrian Broner wore that mask in. Because he knew it was going to be a robbery. Then again, you know, like I said, it was a fight that could have could have went either way. But if he fights Pacquiao with his style, I mean, Adrian Broner... Um, I, I say he's like a B minus fighter or so. But after that fight with Pacquiao, if he does fight him, he'll become like a C minus fighter. You know, Pacquiao, most fighters like Pacquiao, when they face fighters like Broner, fight Broner's fighter like Broner decline, okay? Big times after uh, jumping in the ring with a fighter like Pacquiao. And I'm, I mean, Broner, he has no power at 147. I don't know who he can beat at 147. Uh, a good fight between him and Lamont Peterson will be great. I think that will make an excellent fight. Lamont Peterson and Adrian Broner. Yeah. Adrian Broner versus Danny Garcia. Danny Garcia wins. Adrian Broner versus Keith Thurman. Keith Thurman wins. We already seen Adrian Broner. Versus Sean Porter. We've seen that. Porter, he won. And win again. Now, for Amir Khan. <laughs> well, I believe now he can beat Amir Khan. Because Amir Khan done went up in weight two classes above his division. I believe he fought at 160 um, against Canelo Alvarez. And he brought his best game from 147 up to 160 and you know did the same thing he does at 147 dominates you know the early rounds then he end up you know slowing down body shots and end up having a horrible knockdown then he's going to try and make his way right back down to uh what welterweight nah now i believe amir khan is a shot fighter so, like I said in my last video, my, a couple of videos before, what fighter you know that went two levels above their weight class, came back down two levels to their original weight class, and was still dominant? Not one. Now, talking about that, okay, now, Roy Jones really was a, a spectacular fighter. I mean, he started from middleweight. Junior middleweight, middleweight, super middleweight, light heavyweight, 
And he went to a heavyweight and fought John Ruiz, a guy who Lennox Lewis didn't fight, didn't want to fight. Okay, so you might as well say, okay, Lennox Lewis ducked John Ruiz. However, Roy Jones went and took him on. And surprisingly, Roy Jones brought that spectacular greatness, okay, from his early days in boxing from, you know, middleweight. Uh, super middleweight, all that he, he brought it on, he still dominated. I mean, Roy Jones was dominating every division he was in, even went to the heavyweight division and dominated John Ruiz. However, okay, he was like two weight classes above his original fighting weight, and when he came back down, he left that greatness at heavyweight. All right, Roy Jones is never the same, him or Kelly Pavlik. So, I already know. Already knows that Amir Khan is a shot fighter. You know, he was dropped hard against Canelo. So, with that saying that, yeah, maybe he should take on Amir Khan. You know, he'll look good in that fight. Then people will probably be saying, yeah, maybe he should fight, you know, uh, Keith Thurman, Danny Garcia, and Pacquiao. But he just beat a shot fighter in Amir Khan. So, nah, I mean, if he wants to make money, like he said he does in that article, I guess he best to stick with stuff like, you know, promoting fights. All right, that was a pretty good fight card that was put on last night by Adrian Broner. And it looked pretty good. I just didn't like the way the outcome of his uh, fight with Adrian Ganados. But, hey, we all live to see another day. Once again, my name is Ronell Higg, and this is Ronell Higg Boxing Reports. I'm out.